You want to know what's crazy about this MVP race? Between Nikita Kucherov, Nathan McKinnon, Connor McDavid, Austin Matthews, and Artemi Panarin, two of those men are not going to be named finalists. That's on top of a few others who, in a normal year, would be given more time of day. While there will be arguments for many of these players in the next 48 hours, I want to explain why Nikita Kucherov deserves to win the heart once again. Let me run through some stats as quickly as I can. He's the fifth player ever to reach 100 helpers in a season, but only the third to notch at least 40 goals and 100 assists. He joins the small list with Mario Lemieux and Wayne Gretzky. Of those 100 assists, 62 were of the primary variety. He is the seventh player ever to factor into at least 50% of his team's scoring. There is a 54-point gap between Cooch and the next highest scorer on his team, Braden Point, which is among the greatest ever in the salary cap era. While McKinnon has dominated at home, Cooch has done it on the road with 75 points. And take a look at this. Against the top 10 teams in the league, and some of these numbers could change with Colorado and Edmonton playing right now, but Cooch is averaging more than two points per contest. Look Look at the other two guys. When I expand the numbers to playoff teams, the gap gets closer, but Cooch is still number one by a decent margin. So he's got more points than everyone. He's done a better job against the best teams. He's quantifiably outpaced his teammates at a level unmatched, and he's logged one of the greatest seasons ever for someone at his position considering a winger just tallied 100 assists. So color me surprised when I see an article from Greg Wyshynski two weeks ago where he polled a sample of writers and 77% of them had Nathan McKinnon at the top of their ballots. Now, maybe some things have changed, but listen to a handful of these quotes. McKinnon gets the nod here because his consistency has been at a historic level. Let the record show McKinnon has failed to point in 13 games. Nikita Kutrov, 13 games. Here is another. It's just too difficult to ignore McKinnon on a top-heavy Avs team with two other players as the only teammates over the 50-point mark this season. I wonder if that vote has changed now that they have five players over that mark, just like the Lightning. But here's the winner. Maybe I'm falling into the it's-his-turn narrative but he really has been the best non-goalie in hockey all season. Ding, ding, ding. I can argue for Cooch until I'm blue in the face, but the biggest opposition to Cooch winning his second Hart Award is that thought right there. It's McKinnon's turn. I've seen complaints about Kucherov's 5-on-5 five five numbers, his defense, or how he munches too many points on the power play and empty net goals. If you bring up the power play stuff, I'm sorry, he's one of the best half-wall players we've ever seen. If you bring up the empty net stuff, don't you dare drool over Ovechkin breaking Gretzky's goal record at some point soon. I'm not going to say Kucherov is a 200-foot player, but there's no doubt of the qualified candidates, the Lightning have the weakest blue line. Only four defensemen on this team played north of 60 games. That's going to hurt his defensive rating. As for the five-on-five -five stuff, you can have that one, but it's abundantly clear to me if Nikita Kucherov loses the MVP vote, it's more for subjective reasons. Nathan McKinnon plays hockey like he's the Rolling Stones, and Nikita Kucherov does it like Beethoven. Austin Matthews and Connor McDavid might as well be Justin Bieber and Taylor Swift. While we all appreciate classical music, I think the majority prefers going to the other concerts more. For every galloping McKinnon highlight you show, I can match it with some no-look, thread the needle, spin around, put it on the tape pass from Cooch. He doesn't light up the room with a microphone in front of him, and he ticked off some people at the All-Star game like you know, that matters at all. So I say this with great respect to the other well-deserving players. While he might not win the politics of this process, Nikita Kucherov is the best player in the world, and he carried the Lightning all season long to the playoffs. History should reflect that when we look back at who won the Hart Trophy in the 2023-2024 season.